There it is. Glucose has six carbons and it uses ATP to make three carbon pyruvate to power you and me. If oxygen's available, then hydrogen can move on to NAD. Glory, glory, respiration. Glory, glory, respiration. Glory, glory, respiration. Uses glucose to make ATP. Our three carbon pyruvate then loses CO2, leaving an acetyl group with carbons one and two. A four carbon compound binds with acetyl CoA, and respiration carries on. Glory, glory, respiration. Glory, glory, respiration. Glory, glory, respiration. Uses glucose to make ATP. Glucose splitting happens in the cytoplasm of the cell. It uses up for ATP but makes up two as well. The mitochondrial matrix is the home of acetyl CoA and where Krebs cycles on. Glory, glory, respiration. Glory, glory, respiration. Glory, glory, respiration. Uses glucose to make ATP. Six carbon citric goes to five and then to four. Carbon dioxide is lost, it's gone forevermore. Two hydrogen acceptors are called NAD. And they move hydrogen onto cytochrome C. Glory, glory, respiration. Glory, glory, respiration. Glory, glory, respiration. Uses glucose to make ATP. The last thing to remember is that oxygen is needed combine with the hydrogens and make a bit of water. This complex process makes 36 ATP and that is the point of biochemistry. Glory, glory, respiration. Glory, glory, respiration. Glory, glory, respiration. Uses glucose to make 